when you're kind of recruiting parents and, and, and reaching out, what is what are some of the sort of education myths that you run into consistently? I think, you know, that we sort of a free loving hippie school. <laughs> I think that, you know, the fact that, you know, the children sort of run around and in their own clothes, so where there's no uniform, they can make choices around what they want to wear and whether they wear shoes on their feet around the playground or not. Teachers are called by their first name so that there's, you know, can be this sort of, oh, that's just the, the hippie school down the road. You know, there is a very wholesome, holistic look about the school, which is intentional. But mm-hmm. I think underneath all of that, you know, there, are, there is a lot of structure there's a lot of bound boundaries, you know, not just structural boundaries, but, you know, the teaching and the practice of personal boundaries and mm-hmm. societal boundaries and all of the rest of it. So there's a, and, and the, uh, as Olivia said, a lot of the conflict resolution, so the language that goes around with the school. So it's, um, you know, certainly it has evolved over years. And, but, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's not, the children are not cotton wooled in this sort of idealistic mm-hmm. protected environment. I think we try to make it as problematic and lifelike as mm. possible so that they have, you know, develop resilience and, you know, and strength around adversity. I mean, maybe not problematic on purpose. No. <laughs> but we do, we don't shield them from problem solving and, and difficulties and challenges. Mm. Yeah. Or mistake making. I yeah. mean, I think, you know, we, we know as adults that, you know, that's one of the, the places that we learn is that, you know, encouraging not necessarily, you know, it's, it's not about the goal, but it's how we get there, about the, the journey and the experience along the way. Mm-hmm. Over the, over the, in the past, I, and possibly still now, I'm not sure, we have somewhat been tagged as a school for children who can't make it or don't, don't. Mm. Yes, I'll make it in the mainstream. Mm-hmm. And while we have we have space for everyone here, including the children that perhaps have found mainstream challenging, we are not a school for that. We are a school for, for like-minded people who 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 agree with the philosophy and who are looking for something extra and more for the development of their children. Mm-hmm. And that sometimes does mean that we can provide education and provide great opportunities for children who for some reason have struggled in the mainstream Um, but it's more about individual children reaching their capacity reaching their goals and being taught and encouraged and loved to do it this is the agentic schools podcast where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.